I was working for a company that was an international manufacturer of sporting goods. Um, so it was like uh, outerwear, ski wear, hunting apparel, hunting tree stands. Um, and I'd worked for that company for 13 years up till uh, this past year when I left there to now focus solely on the brewery. I wanted to be doing something where, you know, a lot of people, you're envious of those people that do what you love and you never work a day in your life. And now doing what I love to do, you know, a Sunday night doesn't feel like a Sunday night, like, oh, I gotta go to work Monday morning. I have no problem with that, it's great. I can't wait to get back to the brewery. Probably going on about 12 years now, 12 years ago I decided to try to start home brewing out of boredom at home one day uh, in my apartment up in Morristown. It really was just me and my brothers, my cousin, you know, friends would come over and we'd brew and then we'd have a fire pit and barbecue and we were just having a really enjoyable time. It was just a great experience around the beer and my closet in my little apartment was filled with small fermenters fermenting beers. Um, so we just became pretty obsessed with it and we decided um, that we wanted to go a little bit bigger and that would involve me moving the little homebrew operation out of my apartment over to my grandma's house in Lyndhurst. Uh, she had a garage that used to be my grandfather's woodworking workshop. So we decided we'd take over that workshop. It was right where in the country there started becoming these small little breweries popping up called nano breweries. There were a small handful of them across the US that were making really small beers, amounts of beer at a time. And it was basically people like us. They were homebrewers that were just making a lot of beer. And by law, you can't sell your homebrew. You can't bring it places and stuff. It's for your personal consumption at home. So we decided to start figuring out how we can go and get a license so that we can sell what we were making just at a really tiny, small scale. And uh, what that entailed was us actually leasing a space that we were gonna move our brew system into while we were brewing at grandma's house and refining these recipes, because this is already now, you know, five, six years later from when we started home brewing. Hillsboro had a business park that was very uh, business friendly for light industrial. So we leased a space in this business park to move our system into. And we started with the full notion of, hey, let's just rent a space and sell what we can make. When we were trying to come up with something to sum up what we want people to take away from us when they visit us or they drink our beers, is the experience that they're having with us. You need the liquid to speak for itself. You need a good product, you need good beer, or everything else is a moot point anyway. But to be able to provide people that good liquid, that good product, but also give them a great experience when they come and they interact with us um, became our main goal in our business idea, our business strategy. So even though we're growing, we still have a little tiny sampling room with the bar that me and my father-in-law made, with shelves that me and my father-in-law made, with some walls that I painted. Some things are crooked, I'm not a carpenter. Um, but we want people to see that we built this step by step. We did come in with a massive budget from somewhere with architects blazing and you know uh, the whole nine yards we wanted it to tell a story so that people can come and have a unique experience here and immediately connect more with us with our story and in turn that beer but what i hope to come out of it is you know as as we have success and as we grow and 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 we have a business that employs several people and provides people a living and lets us do what we want to do and makes us happy and provides our families with a good living. I, I want my kids to see that that is possible. It is possible in a day where more people, even in my generation, are starting to say negatively of, you can't do whatever you want to do. Where a generation before, it's like, you can be whatever you want to be and you want to grow up to. There's, there's, there's a lot where it's flipping the other way now but I want to be an example to show you can do what you want to do as a passion. You know, I enjoyed what I did before, but there's some regrets there that I didn't enjoy it as much as I should have been enjoying doing it for having done it for as long as I did it. And I would have rather actually backtracked a little bit more and spent more time doing what I wanted to do. So I wanted in the end to show my kids that you can do it. And I want them to be proud of me. I want them to see that they had a good example to follow and that if you have dreams, you can follow those dreams and you work hard for them. And, and they can come to fruition.